Hey guys, network security, learn about network security, understand attack methodology and practice hacking in a target server. Task 1, Introduction. A computer network is a group of computers and devices connected with each other. Network security consists of different hardware and software solutions to achieve the set security goals. A hardware appliance might look something like the image below. Examples of hardware appliances include firewall appliance, intrusion detection system appliance, intrusion prevention system appliance, and virtual private network VPNs. Software security solutions, some common examples, antivirus software, and host firewalls. Read through the remainder. Question, what type of firewall is Windows Defender Firewall? Scroll back up a little bit. We should see that here. Windows Defender Firewall falls under Host Firewall. Your answer. Host Firewall. Copy and paste. Methodology, task 2. Every operation requires some form of planning to achieve success. Breaking into a target network usually includes a number of steps. The cyber kill chain has seven steps. Very important. You'll keep seeing this come up in different rooms. The cyber kill chain. Step one is recon. Step two, weaponization. Step 3, Delivery. Step 4, Exploitation. Step 5, Installation. Step 6, Command and Control. Step 7, Actions on Objectives. Make sure you understand and read through the remainder. Question, during which step of the cyber kill chain does the attacker gather information about the target? Pretty simple, it's the first one. Recon, it's where you're gathering information about the people, persons, items, companies. Task 3, practical. Start my machine, start my attack box, wait for it to load up. Okay, click here, hit enter. Okay, let's see. Start the attack box. Okay, we've already done that. On the attack box, start terminal. Clicking on terminal. Right, we've got three choices. Let's open one. Next, the first step of our attack box is recon. We'll use a single tool called NMAP, short for Network Mapper. NMAP is a network scanner that helps us discover running machines and any programs running on them that are visible to the outside world. We can scan this by running NMAP. Okay, let's do this. NMAP 10.10.189.210 Hit enter And as you can see by the screenshot we have discovered three ports Port 21 and you can see on ours it's there as well Port 22 SSH 
it's also visible on ours and port 80 HTTP which we can see on ours as well we just discovered the three services running FTP SSH and HTTP you can also notice that Nmap reports on whether the host is up based on whether it receives any response from it this is useful to know when no ports are open or accessible let's get some more information about the FTP server I'm going to try and connect to it using FTP and we will use the login anonymous to see if the FTP server supports anonymous logins anonymous okay let's do this FTP 10.10.189.210 name anonymous hit enter and we're in what does it want next try to see the files available using the ls command let's type ls there we can see the files that's popped up if you're curious about any file you can download it using get command and get the file name I wonder what the file secret.txt contains so let's download it using get secret.txt okay get secret.txt You can see transfer complete. Once you've downloaded the file, type exit or bar to quit. Exit. There we see bar. As the example screenshot to compare. Looking at the files, we notice six files. Three text files, two EPUB files, one SH file. SH extension indicates the file is a shell script. Shell scripts usually contain a group of commands that needs to be performed repetitively. After we downloaded the file, FT command gets secret. We return to the terminal. Let's display the contents of the file secret which we've downloaded double check that it's in the directory type in ls here we can see secret.txt from our get command let's cat secret.txt and there's a password revealed abc kept the password hidden it must be a password of one of the accounts copy to the public server a root account has full privileges on a Linux system meaning it can read and write files and install and remove any programs at the terminal let's type in ssh root we'll be asked for the password which we've obviously just discovered let's go ssh root at 10.10 .10 dot one eight nine dot two one zero. Hit enter. Type yes. Password. It's copy and paste this. Hit enter. And we're in. Who am I? Root. Congratulations! After login and root, use the following commands pwd print working directory. It's pretty much the same as who am I? pwd says root. Let's do ls. There's our flag. Let's cat flag.txt. There's a flag for us. First flag THM FTP server 
Because we're logged in as root, we have full access to all files, including other users' files. Let's try this out. Okay, execute the following Linux commands. Right, cd space home, cd home. ls these files that have popped up we run the ls we notice librarian is one of the users let's cd into the librarian cd librarian let's do pwd make sure that we're in the correct directory and we are, let's type ls, list the contents of this folder, and there's another flag.txt, and let's cat the flag.txt, and we've got a second flag. Let's scroll down and see what else we're required to do. There's the pretty much straightforward, exactly as we have cd home ls there's the three files produced exactly like our attack box and we cut the flag here's a brief summary of what we've done in this task read through make sure you understand what we've just completed and how we got there what is the password in the secret.txt file? We discovered that. Let's scroll up. It was over here. Here we go. Yeah, copy and paste this password. It's your answer. What is the contents of the first flag.txt in the root directory? We found that. Scroll down a bit here. Here we go, copy and paste, that's your second answer and your first flag. What is the content of the flag.txt in the home librarian directory? And there it is, copy and paste. And the room is completed, both flags successful. Let's exit out, exit, exit and terminate my machine. Terminate again. And thank you for watching.